Inside this special, is Bo Burnham really inside? Or is he outside? He's actually inside and outside at the same time. What? Let me explain. But first, we have to rewind to when he first started. He starts off inside his room making YouTube videos. Then he goes outside to perform in front of live audiences. He's outside for his first three specials. But now he's come full circle back inside his room making his fourth special. Each of his specials touches on the meta theme of being a comedian. Bo explores the dichotomies between self-expression versus entertainment, creator versus audience, art versus business. Now let's revisit the Kanye rant and make happy. The truth is my biggest problem's you. I wanna please you, but I wanna stay true to myself. I wanna give you the night out that you deserve, but I wanna say what I think and not care what you think about it. He needs the audience because that is how he makes a living, but that is also the cause of his unhappiness because he has to cater his content to the audience rather than freely expressing himself. And inside, the live audience is gone. He's all alone inside. He no longer has to make jokes for other people. He can make the content he wants to make. He's back to his beginning where he has full creative control without any directors telling him to dumb down his content for his audience. You gotta cater more heavily to them. All right, we've done studies. Young people do not respond to this, you know, introspective material or these challenges to the form, you know. Art is a dead, so people think you're funny. How do we get those people's money? He doesn't have to cater to a business or his audience, so he doesn't even need to be funny, which is why this special was not as funny, but more introspective, vulnerable, and authentic than his prior ones. My interpretation of this intermission window scene is that it symbolizes more transparency as he opens up even more in the second half of the show. Towards the end of the show, he's naked, symbolizing vulnerability. Bo has made himself more vulnerable than probably any creator out there. He's inside his room during this whole film, but at the end he goes outside. In this scene that is reminiscent of The Truman Show, he has a live audience. To him, outside represents performing in front of others. But the final reveal is that he was actually inside. Let's get back to the question at the very beginning of this video. Is Bo inside or outside? He's actually inside and outside at the same time. How is this possible? The internet and social media. Welcome to the internet. Have a look around. In the Matrix, the line between reality and simulation is blurred. In Inception, the line between reality and dream is blurred. In Inside, the line between inside and outside is blurred. This is due to the internet. He is physically inside his room but he is able to broadcast himself to millions of people outside because of the power of the internet. As he said in one of his monologues, All human interaction, whether it be social, political, spiritual, sexual, or interpersonal, should be contained in the much more safe, much more real, interior digital space. That the outside world, the non-digital world, is merely a theatrical space in which one stages and records content for the much more real, much more vital, digital space. He's able to make and share his art without actually leaving his house. He no longer has to suffer from agoraphobia because he can perform without having to perform for a live audience. The camera symbolizes a new audience. Instead of a live audience, it's just a camera. If he goes outside, he can perform for a live audience. If he stays inside, he can perform for a digital audience. I actually interpret this as him talking about the internet. We're going to go from living in meat space to virtual space. We all know it's inevitable. Technology, and more specifically social media, is a double-edged sword with its pros and cons. He's saying the whole world's ending. It already did. I interpreted this as the world has already become dystopian, before the pandemic. Even before this pandemic, we are already headed towards a culture where we are hooked to technology and spending more time inside, where we are only connected digitally. Part of the passage from Stuck in the Room is played again in the last song, the possible ending song. He's inside again, since he started off filming inside. He went out, only to find a reason to come back and film inside again.
When you're surrounded by cops, you come out with your hands up to show that you surrendered. Surrender is also about letting go or releasing. Bo is releasing his Netflix special here. They call it release when you release a music album, film, or other creator work. You're releasing it because you're letting go of the work, not adding on any more to it. He goes outside, symbolizing the release of his new special. He tries to go back inside, but he can't take back his release, now that it's out. Even if people laugh down at him when he has expressed true vulnerability, Bo doesn't care anymore. His happiness is no longer tied to external validation. So many comedians have their happiness tied to the external validation of laughs they get. So many content creators have their happiness tied to the external validation of views, likes, and followers they get. All this can be harmful to their mental health. What's important is self-amusement. When your need for external validation is replaced by your internal validation. How are you feeling? Do you like the show? Are you tired of it? Never mind, I don't want to know. Are you finding it boring? Too fast, too slow. I'm asking, but don't answer cause I don't want to know. Bo smiles at them. I think this is an authentic smile. Bo is happy reflecting back on his creation. I'm not sure if he is happy mentally, but he does seem happy with his work. He chose free self-expression over pleasing his fans. I know very little about anything, but what I do know is that if you can live your life without an audience, you should do it. Bo still has an audience, but that audience is no longer live. More importantly, he no longer creates his content for his audience, but for himself. Hey guys, I found this video. I'm going to be reacting to it. The Hidden Meaning. Wow, what a clickbaity title. And hashtag deep? It's such a pretentious username. I'm trying to say that I'm deep without saying it. It's a way to humble brag and disguise my bragging by choosing a username after one of Bo's songs. I have to preface it by saying this is just my interpretation, because I know it's totally off. Alright, let's play it. Inside this special, is Bo Burnham really inside, or is he outside? He's actually inside and outside at the same time. What? Let me- Alright, that was a pretty good hook. I'll give it to him. I think he deserves a like, a subscribe, and hitting the bell. Thank you for watching my content. As you guys know, I work really hard to try to bring you guys high quality content that I think you'll enjoy. So the fact that you are enjoying it means everything to me. So thank you.